Bonjour everyone, I'm Marlous, a Dutch business owner, and I moved to Burgundy in France in 2019 with my family. And on my channel, I share our slow and simple life here in the French countryside. I talk about brocante, cooking, beautiful places to visit in our region and other parts of France. And every now and then, I do a home tour in which I take you to a gorgeous French house. And I'm happy to share another one of those beautiful houses with you in this video. Welcome to the South Beaujolais wine region, which is just a little northwest of the city of Lyon, a region that is called the Pierre Doré country, which means the Golden Stones country. The local stones used here to build houses, castles and churches are high in iron oxides, which give it their ochre colors with soft hues of gold. When the sun hits the stones, they get a golden glow, which is why the locals here call this region the region of the Pierre Doré. It's in one of the charming villages of this region that I am taking you today to discover the beautiful home of Alicia and Grégory, a young French couple that bought this house in 2020 and put their heart and soul into carefully renovating it. We met on Instagram when I discovered their beautiful Instagram account where they share their renovation journey and many interior projects. This is a former winemaker's farm you can tell by the front door being on the first floor and the cave, the wine cellars, being on the ground floor. This area here that Grégory and Alicia turned into a cozy and comfortable outdoor space must have been the cuvry, the winery's fermenting room, where the grapes were brought straight after harvest. The house is on a slope and you can see there's a former opening in the wall that gives direct access to the street. When this was still a winery, the grapes will be tossed through this opening to be pressed to extract the juice from the grapes straight after harvest. The couple have decorated this cozy space with thrifted furniture and pieces. This wicker basket, for example, is from a local former winemaker. Traditionally, winemakers planted willow trees around the vineyards to protect the vines. And when this winemaker retired, he started making baskets out of the wicker, which is dried willow. So Grégory and Alicia thought that it would be perfect here. Alicia also thrifted these cloches. They were and still are, although nowadays they're plastic, used in vegetable gardens to keep the warmth and humidity around a plant. Exposed stone walls must be what most lovers of French homes 
love most about them, and these look absolutely gorgeous. But this is what all of the walls looked like when they bought the house. It is a lot of work repointing all the walls, but I think it looks spectacular now. When they bought the house, it was in a pretty sad state, and it lost most of its original glory. It was divided into many small rooms, and Gregory and Alicia really wanted to create a more airy, open-plan space. So they broke down all the walls, the old staircase, and turned the attic that was unused by the previous owners into three bedrooms and a bathroom. They didn't use an architect for the huge renovation, but they did have all the structural work done by local artisans. One of the ways you can tell that so much traditional love was put into this home is how they finished the openings that they created in the walls. They didn't use concrete to make the lintel and the sides, but they cut the original stones from the region to size. I think it's absolutely gorgeous and I'll show you when we do the tour of the house. Before we discover what the house looks like now inside, we have to visit the most important part of it, of course, the cave à vin. They showed me something that I had never seen before. This is a wine cellar in itself, fully made out of clay. Each component has the perfect humidity and temperature to store wine. She said that you could even put this in an apartment and it will be a wine cellar in itself. These antique style light switches are by Fontini, which is an Italian brand and you can easily find them online. Now let's go discover the inside of this gorgeous home. And on one of the stones in the facade it says December 1691. So we're assuming the house was built in 1691. As you enter the house, you notice the mix of thrifted and upcycled furniture and more modern looking pieces. The couple wanted to honor the history of the house, but did not want to make the interior feel too heavy by only using antique or brocante pieces. Actually, all of the wooden furniture that you see here was made by Grégory's father, who is a carpenter. And his skills have turned out to be of great value for the many projects Alicia had for the house. The kitchen, for example, is by a French kitchen manufacturer, but they weren't able to honor Alicia's wish for the large kitchen island and the legs that she had in mind for it. So Grégory's father custom made the legs so they could create the look that they wanted to go for. Almost all of the other furniture is thrifted and carefully upcycled by Alicia, using neutral colors and very delicate and cute little prints that you find throughout the house. This is a former antique clock that Alicia turned into this little cabinet to display all of her beautiful brogante finds.
All of the curtains in the house have been custom made using thrifted fabrics. This particular curtain is a hemp fabric that I personally had never seen. I love how Alicia and Grégory have managed to use as many second-hand and thrifted items and materials and still have achieved a very contemporary look for their home. All the paint that they used on the woodwork is by Liberon. It's a paint based on casein, a protein found in milk, and it's made here in France, in the Jura. The kitchen is filled with brocante finds, or carefully selected items that are all made by local small companies and artisans. Let's leave the kitchen and explore the utility laundry room. Here as well, every little detail that you see is thrifted. Maybe there is a new item here and there, but I love how there's a pop of color all of a sudden. It must have been the only that I've seen here, and it's a perfect color that goes so well with all the other neutral tones. And Delicia and Grégory have started making their own vinegar in this vinaigrier. This is a model by Diguan, and you may have heard me speak about this in my other videos. It's a very, I was going to say ancient, but it's a very well-known and old ceramics brand. And they still make the traditional vinaigrier, the confit pots, and all the beautiful things you find in the brocantes. They still make them new, and you can just order them by selected resellers online. On the ground floor, right next to the entrance to the house, Alicia and Grégory have made a really cozy little guest room with a private bathroom. Vanity in this bathroom was made by Gregory's father.
and the vanity in this bathroom as well was made by Gregory's father. Alicia and Grigory restored this chair themselves, sanding down all the wood and reupholstering it with a new, nice neutral fabric. There is a second guest room on this first floor, and again it's decorated with so many beautiful and unique brocante finds. Now let's discover the master bedroom for which Gregory's father built all the built-in wardrobes. I have really fallen in love with this gorgeous region. I knew Beaujolais, but I didn't know this particular part of Beaujolais, which because of the unique color of the stones, which I believe you only find in Tuscany, it's very rare in France as well to find this color. It's just a very unique place. So I hope you've enjoyed coming to me to the region of the Pierre Doré and visiting the beautiful house of Alicia and Grigory. Their next project will be to turn the former part of the winery into an outdoor kitchen, so they still have plenty of projects for the house and the garden. So if you want to follow their journey, I can highly recommend following their beautiful Instagram account. I have put a link in the description box as well. Thank you so much, Alicia et Grigory, for letting us into your gorgeous home. And thank you all for watching. Do let me know what you loved most about this house. And I will see you, as always, in the next one.